welcome to the final round of the CART PPG World Series for 1997. And here is just a quick look at how the series has panned out so far. So this is Fontana then, the latest circuit to hold a round of the PPG World Series. And as you can see, these live shots now coming across from Fontana. Beautiful weather. Thank goodness this race at least will go ahead. So the brand new facility, Roger Penske, justifiably proud of the work that he and his crew have put in over the last two years to bring this venue to fruition in the beautiful San Fernando Valley. And what a circuit it will prove to be, I'm sure. Fantastic world record qualifying speeds. The biggest, bestest facilities of every kind that they could possibly imagine. As Roger Penske said there in our pre-game show, everything that they have learned from venues in the past will be incorporated and has been incorporated here. And as you can see, this former derelict factory land has been brought back to life with a very different use indeed from then to now and what a venue it looks well the weather absolutely perfect for this final round of the series perhaps just the one disappointment that alex zanardi the reigning champion the new champion perhaps uh, the donut king certainly will not be racing here jill de ferran will he's already sure of second in the series ahead of jimmy vassa paul tracy also charging there, Greg Moore in sixth place, possibly in uh, with a shot at third as well. Michael Andretti out of that battle, but an awful lot to play for. And there is the scene of uh, confusion after Vanessa and Zanardi clashed at Laguna Seca with Alex Zanardi, the champion. Well, here he is, this uh, pleasant, amiable, and my word, quick Italian who raced in Formula One, fell through the net in Formula One, and really quite a disappointment and uh, some surprise to a lot of people, but came here to the Indy Series. And this is Friday morning to pick up the action. Let's join Ben Edwards and Jeremy Shaw live from California. Ari Leyendijk for this race. Leyendijk stands in for Alex Zanardi. Leyendijk is a former winner of 500 mile races. I wonder how he can get on this weekend. We spoke to him earlier today. Ari Leyendijk, first, first of all, welcome, of all, welcome back to the Cart World Series, World the PPG Cup. You got a phone call yesterday morning. Just run us through the last 24 hours for you. Well, I was, I was, uh, I just got back from Washington D.C. the day before, so uh, I've been flying around the country quite a bit. And yesterday morning, taking it easy, and Chip called and said that uh, Alex had had an accident and wasn't clear to drive. So, uh, you know, we're glad that he's okay. And uh, I had spoken to Chip earlier in the year about running here, maybe in a third car. So, uh, uh, last race in Laguna, I said, uh, well, I guess we're not running in uh, Fontana. He said, no, we're just going to run two cars. But obviously, when this happened, my, uh, you know, my name came up, and he gave me a call. Uh, sent his jet out to pick me up and here we are so a couple of laps yesterday uh with the seat was very uncomfortable so we made a seat last night and uh, we had a long afternoon to get everything ready and i feel pretty comfortable the seat is not perfect yet uh i'm using too much of my neck muscles actually um so we have to work on comfort zone a little bit but the speed is there i think we ran at 234 maybe at 235 
Uh, guy's tremendous. All right, well, good luck to you in the race today, Harry, and we'll keep a close eye on you. All right. Well, Harry Leyendijk starts from the very tail of the field, but starting at the opposite end of the grid to Leyendijk is Maurizio Gutemann. Gutemann set that record time yesterday at an average speed of 240.942 miles per hour. Just taking a look on board at Jimmy Vassar, but we also had other accidents on the Friday. We already mentioned it earlier in connection with Alex Zanardi when the young French-Canadian crashed on the Friday practice session as well. This was the accident that Patrick Carpentier suffered again the back end getting away from him at extremely high speed and just look at the amount of debris that was sent all over the track. It meant that Team Ali Max, the Bettenhausen Motorsports have decided to withdraw from this weekend's race so it is only 27 cars on the grid rather than the 28 that we've seen normally. There's another change on the grid this weekend as well. It all seems to be happening for this final race and that is that there's no Dario Franchitti out there. The young Scotsman is not driving for Carl Hogan this weekend. It is in fact going to be Robbie Gordon so that's going to be another difference for this weekend's final race in the championship. Let's take the grid, grid now, though. On pole with that new record on a close track of over 240 mile an hour is Maurizio Gujamin, joined by the winner of the last race, the resurgent former champion, Jimmy Vassar. Brian Herter has led the last four races at some point. Scott Pruitt has taken a victory already this year. Michel Jourdain has a career best fifth place on the grid. Greg Moore is hoping to take third in the championship. Michael Andretti was great in Michigan. Mark Blundell also had a good result in Michigan. Raul Bazell's best finish this year has been third. Bobby Rahal led on the US 500 earlier in the year. Andre Ribeiro's had problems in practice. Gilda Ferran confirmed second in the championship, so he doesn't have to worry about it too much. Robbie Gordon takes over from Dario Franchitti. He's joined on row seven by Adrian Fernandez. Then it's Parker Johnston and Christian Filippaldi, who's been confirmed with Andretti to drive for Newman Haas again next year. Then it's Vitolo and Juan Fangio on row nine, with Fangio the top Toyota-powered car this weekend. But look at that, an old Penske tenth row to the grid. Normally they're on the front row together, the Penskes, or they have been in past years, but not this year. PJ Jones and Richie Hearn are together on row 11. Hearn back in his Lola. He crashed his Swift on Friday. Then we've got Matsushita and Arnton Meyer competing in his last race of the season. Max Pappis and Gualter Salas had problems in the, the practice sessions and the qualifying. And Ari Leyendijk is the last one on the grid, having taken over the car from Alex Zanardi. He didn't manage to get out in time to set a time in qualifying, so he'll have to start right from the back of the field.